Hey guys, what is going on? Jurgen from Zergrino Sports here, and today we are back at it again with some more of our SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 GM Mode series. Let's take a quick look at what we did in last week's episode before we get into this week's episode. Last week we had the Go Home to Royal Rumble which featured Super Crazy and Psychosis blowing off their mini feud with uh, the winner getting a spot in the Rumble and the loser getting uh, traded to Raw in a trade that will be revealed eventually to you guys. Uh, and Kid Cash was not involved, I just threw him in there to get him some cheap popularity. Then in the second match, we had a triple threat just to uh, just to get everybody uh, warmed up, get to see if some people can gain some momentum going into the pay-per-view, uh, into the Rumble match specifically, and Shelton Benjamin gets a win in a triple threat between himself, Rob Van Dam, and Chavo Guerrero. In the third match of the evening, we had Randy Orton facing off against The Undertaker, which The Undertaker won, um, and uh, Kane won the previous week against Batista. Both matches are being used to uh, get uh, some momentum going into the tag team championship defense uh, that will feature tonight between the champions Undertaker and Kane and the uh, challengers Randy Orton and Batista and then in the fourth match of the evening we had Umaga versus Eddie Guerrero in a match to determine who gets the number 30 spot with Umaga winning the match and getting himself the number 30 entrance to the match Umaga was peculiarly uh I hope I said that right, um, by himself in the match as Kennedy was focused with his own shit in the night, so he he just kind of nonchalantly was like, oh, you got this, brother, whatever, I got my own shit, you got this, you'll win, no worries, kind of thing, and Umaga was out there by himself, and he got the job done against Eddie Guerrero to earn himself the number 30 spot in the Rumble which, of course, we won at Survivor Series within the kayfabe that I created. Uh, then in this match we had, uh, within the kayfabe, it would have been a four-man battle royal um, at the beginning of the night or at some point in the night before the match. Benoit would have uh, come out and called Booker T out for interfering last week and costing him the win against Johnny Nitro. Um, and said he was sick of uh, Book interfering and he didn't want to wait for Royal Rumble. He wanted to kick his ass. Now, Book comes out and says since it's a singles match at Rumble, he's pretty much already champion. The match itself is a formality. And as the champion, he won't wrestle on TV in front of these people because they're not worth it. He's a pay-per-view champion. The hashtag face GM's like, hey, if you don't wrestle tonight, uh, you're going to forfeit your opportunity for the title. You're going to be in, in a uh, four-man battle royal with yourself, Benoit, Johnny Nitro, and Rey Mysterio. The match starts Benoit charges at Booker T they both tumble over the top rope they brawl on the outside while Nitro and, Russ and uh, Ray wrestle on the inside uh, Booker T ends up putting Benoit through the announce table and going to the back and then Johnny Nitro ends up winning the uh, battle royal in the kayfabe uh, what happened in the gameplay was I was playing as Johnny Nitro I did his finisher on the ground while Book did like a Pretty small move, got himself a finisher, but Benoit was all red, so he didn't do the finisher. He just pinned him after whatever small move he did, and since he was red, it, it worked. And uh, he got the pin while I was doing my finishing animation. So that's what happened there, unfortunately, but it is what it is. And then in the main event of the evening, it was actually Kennedy versus Gregory Helms in a last-ditch effort of Kennedy to try and get a rumble spot. Uh, he begged earlier in the night for a rumble spot. The hashtag face GM said they were all taken. Kennedy said, hey, yeah, but... But there is a spot in the in the Rumble for the loser of the World Heavyweight Championship match, which isn't fair because they're already getting a shot at the title. You should give me that. Kurt Angle comes out. He says, you know what? You know, um, I know I'm going to win on Sunday. But on some off chance miracle that I lose, I'm willing to give up my spot. And with how confident Gregory Humms has been coming up against me in recent weeks... I'm pretty sure he'd be willing to give up the spot as well. What do you say? Uh, Helms comes out. He's like, you know what, Kurt? I've beat you before, twice, and I'm going to beat you again for the World Every Championship on Sunday. So I am fine with giving that spot away because I will not need it. Something like that. Uh, the hashtag face GM says, okay, well, we're not just going to give the spot away. We can do this. Instead, uh, Kennedy, you'll face Gregory Helms in the main event tonight to see who wins that match. Uh, Kurt Angle screws Gregory Helms over, giving Kennedy the win. 
and it results in a uh, roster-wide brawl. One by one, people come out to defend other people, and then just the whole roster is out there brawling. A uh, good little bit of anarchy before the rumble. Uh, the hashtag face jam in- interrupts the brawl, uh, congratulates Kennedy, but informs him that he did win the number one entrance into the rumble. Uh, wishes him good luck, and then we go off the air. So. Yeah, we got that going on right there. We got that going on right there. That's how we did. We lost the week, though, so that was unfortunate. Um, And then we got the Rumble this week. So let's just do our housekeeping real quick that we typically do. Rivalries, I added a new one uh, because I thought, you know what? Why wouldn't I add this one? So I added it. Uh, so there it is there. Uh, patriotism one is over technically, but I'll keep it in because maybe it'll do something for their popularities. Chavo and Super Crazy, that is, because they're both in the Rumble. So maybe it'll do something for them. Uh, This one obviously is still going on and it's uh, coming to fruition tonight in that main event. And then we got Book and Benoit for the US title right there which is having a shot tonight current champions are the same uh, and let's take a look at popularities real quick Kurtz at a 98 Eddie's at a 93 Undertaker 92 Benoit at a 90 Gregory Helms at an 88 Kane at an 88 Book at an 86 Kennedy's at an 85 Umaga's 85 Batista's 84 Shelton's 82 Randy's 81 RVD's 81 Melina's 80 Ray's 80 uh, Chavo's 77 Nitro is 70 Super Crazy 70 Kakash 62 And Psychosis 58 But it doesn't matter Because we're trading him away And then uh, in terms of contracts um, I don't think I have to renew these this week I think I have to renew them after the next SmackDown, so after next uh, episode. So, yeah, but we got a few to renew there, so hopefully we make some decent money going into this. So, without further ado, housekeeping out of the way, let's run you through uh, the Royal Rumble card, starting with the first match of the evening, which is the Tag Team Championship match. Batista and Randy Orton taking on Undertaker and Kane. Uh, Batista and Randy tried um, to qualify for the Rumble, and uh, they had a triple threat match with Chavo Guerrero. They couldn't get it done. They came to a realization backstage that over the past few months, when they've been in singles matches, they haven't really been able to get too much done. But when they've teamed up together um, in the in the go home for Sur- Survivor Series and at Survivor Series, for example, um, and in the uh, go home for Armageddon before their U.S. title Fatal Four Way, they come away with the win when they team up. So they're like, you know what? Let's just go for the tag team titles. We're working well together as a tag team when we've been put together. Might as well go for the tag team titles. Uh, so they win a number one contendership against uh, Umaga and Kennedy to earn their shots at the titles. They have two matches, singles matches, uh, alternating. Um, and uh, Batista loses to Kane and then... Uh, Undertaker beats Randy Orton, giving the champions the momentum going into the title defense, which is happening obviously tonight. Then in the second match of the evening, uh, at least on our brand, we have Chris Benoit defending his United States Championship against Booker T. And uh, this match can be traced back to uh, Survivor Series where Booker T was on Team SmackDown going against Team Raw to earn the number 30 spot in which Team SmackDown swept Team Raw, which I believe consisted of Ric Flair, Triple H, and Boogeyman. Um, So... Yeah, they swept that team 3-0 and pretty much, or three remaining people against no people, I guess, yeah. Uh, winning the number 30 spot for uh, SmackDown. Meanwhile, on SmackDown, we had a Team Angle versus Team Eddie match with the winning team members getting to make a demand of the general manager, that general manager uh, the hashtag face GM, that would be granted as a result of winning the match. Um, Booker T, as a result of that, asked for a world title shot for winning the SmackDown versus Raw one. Uh, and the GM's like, nah, that wasn't the deal. I'm sorry, you don't get a demand like that. You're, that wasn't the stipulation for your team. I'm sorry, Book. Um, Benoit, meanwhile, at Survivor Series, had a world title shot that Chris Benoit almost got close to winning. And then Kurt Angle cheated to uh, win and retain his title. So he gets a... Um, a uh, rematch with I think I had Shelton and Eddie banned from ringside or something like that Uh, and if Book got DQ'd or something maybe he or if uh, Kurt got DQ'd he lost the title or something I don't remember the exact stipulations I put on it but I had a rematch for the world title one on one Benoit versus Book and um, Benoit versus Kurt Angle sorry and then Book comes in uh, screws Benoit over letting Kurt Angle win Uh, he explains his actions the next week saying that um 
you know, they won the number 30 spot for a SmackDown. They beat Raw. They swept Raw, and they don't get anything. Meanwhile, uh, Benoit gets two title shots after losing his first one. He didn't think it was fair, and he demanded a U.S. title shot. The GM's like, nah, I can't do that, brother. Uh, Benoit was like, fuck it. Give me. I'll, I'll take him on. No problem. Uh, Batista and, and Randy come out. They're like, hey, we were on Team SmackDown. We want that same shit, brother. Give us that U.S. title shot. And Benoit's like, fuck it. I'll take them all on. Bring them all on. So Fatal 4 at Armageddon. The Fatal 4 at Ar- Armageddon. Benoit retains. Book does not get pinned. Meanwhile, at Armageddon, Rey Mysterio wins a six-man battle royal to win himself the number one contendership for the U.S. Championship. The SmackDown after Armageddon, we have that U.S. title shot. Book gets involved, causing a DQ victory for Rey by attacking him during the match. Uh, and explains that he didn't get a one-on-one shot, so it wasn't a fair shot. He wants a fair one-on-one shot for the title. Um, the hashtag face GM sets up a match between Ray and Book to determine who will be the new number one contender going into Royal Rumble. Booker T wins. The week after that, the hashtag face GM gave... Um, Ray another chance in a non-title match with Benoit to see if he could get himself inserted and make it a triple threat. Benoit wins. Then the week after that, we have some uh, shit where uh, Book sets Benoit up in a match and then costs him the match against Johnny Nitro. And then last week in the go-home, we had what I explained earlier, the whole um, four-man battle royal shtick going on there. And that has led to their U.S. Championship match tonight. And then in the third match of the evening, we have the World Heavyweight Championship match. Gregory Helms taking on Kurt Angle for the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, this started off with Gregory Helms coming out and saying that he beat everybody there is to beat in the Cruiserweight division. There's nobody left. He, he There's nobody left in the division. The division cannot keep up with him. He's too good for that division, so he's going for the big one, the World Heavyweight Championship. Kurt Angle kind of laughs at him, uh, says he stands no chance because he's a Cruiserweight. Uh, Gregory Helms says stand back before you get your ass beat Um, you're just a chicken shit you know I can beat you stuff like that and um, Kurt Angle gets pissed off says you know what you don't deserve to be in the ring with me but you deserve an ass whooping for that disrespect so tonight you can take on Shelton Benjamin if you want to fight so bad Gregory Helms beats Shelton Benjamin next week Gregory Helms comes out asks for a shot again um Kurt says that if he can last 10 minutes against a top world championship level caliber opponent in Eddie Guerrero, he maybe will get a shot. Uh, Helms ends up beating him. Eddie Guerrero, that is. Uh, They shake hands after the match. It was a really highly contested match. Eddie Guerrero uh, shakes his hand in respect after Gregory Helms wins. The next week, Kurt Angle says he wants a hands-on test of Gregory Helms' abilities in a tag match. If he can find a tag team partner, he can face him and Shelton Benjamin. Um, Gregory Helms uh, Eddie finds Helms backstage and says listen I might not like you too much but after last week you sure as hell earned my respect if you need a tag team partner I got you they have a tag team match Eddie starts off the match but before the match can get started um, Gregory Helms tags himself in because those two argued over who would start the match Gregory Helms does not tag out for the remainder of the match he wrestles the whole match himself and ends up getting a roll up victory over Kurt Angle uh, which causes Kurt Angle to give him a non-title one on one match the week after which uh, when Gregory Helms starts to get some momentum in that match, Shelton Benjamin comes out to try and cheat and help Kurt Angle win. Eddie Guerrero intercepts that cheating attempt, you know, leveling the playing field again and gets Gregory Helms back to a level playing field, which he wins from and beats the Kurt Angle, the World Heavyweight Champion, for the second week in a row. And then we had the go home last week, which was uh, uh, the whole uh, rumble spot and uh, the thing with Kennedy. So... That's how we got to the World Heavyweight Championship match tonight. Gregory Helms seemingly has Kurt Angle's number. Can he get it done with the big prize on the line? And then in the main event of the evening, we have the Royal Rumble match, of course. Um... From a SmackDown perspective, we have 15 people in the gameplay. Raw only had 14 people, so I guess it's going to be a 29-man, not a 30-man rumble. Uh, like I said, on the go-home, Umaga won the number 30 spot. And then uh, Kennedy won the number 1 spot. So we know who's going to be number 1 and who's going to be number 30. And... Uh, other than that, we have other people in there. We've got Eddie in there. He qualified week one. We got Umaga, who also qualified week one, or qualified week two, sorry, I think. Uh, we got uh, most of the roster. The only people not in are Kid Cash, Psychosis, because he's technically still part of the roster, and uh, Melina, and maybe one more person, but I don't know. 
but most of the roster is there and Helms and Kurt obviously are not in it uh, after the uh, after Helms got that uh, you know rumble spot taken away so that is the Royal Rumble card uh, so without further ado we're going to jump into the card with the first match of the evening which of course is the tag team title match that one is going to be played in exhibition outside of GM mode so I'm just going to cut you over to the exhibition real quick for that match and then we'll be back in the GM mode for the rest of the card. Alright, and welcome to the first match of the evening, which is of course our Tag Team Championship match between the Brothers of Destruction, the Defending Champions, and Batista and Randall Keith, Randall, Randall Keith, the Challengers. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the match rules real quick, because I didn't do that yet, give up off, DQ off. And then we're going to get to see the, the, the graphic again, so that's, that's cool. Um, yeah, man. Tag Team Championship match, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, I, we are playing as your boys Big Dave and Randy Orton. So let's see if we can get these WWE Tag Team Championships around their waist or if the AI will beat my ass. We'll have to wait and see which one, uh, which outcome is the correct outcome. Uh, but uh, yeah, without further ado, let's do this thing, bro. And while we wait to load, we're going to go ahead and crack open a cold one with the boys dead meme. There it is. Please sponsor me, PC. I got that peach flavor today, baby. Got that peach flavor. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. I am recording, right? Yes, I am. Oh, hell yeah. I love this. Uh, I love this stage design. I was really worried that Kane would come out with... Um, so he's he's the world tag team champion by default in the exhibition with Big Show over on Raw because he's a Raw guy by default. Um, so I was I was loading up the match. I'm like, well, he might come out with two tag titles, but he hasn't. So that's good. Maybe because he's defending these, that's why. But maybe if it was a non-title, he would have come out with both. I don't know. Uh, can we can we just take a second to to appreciate how good those fucking tag titles look, brother? I love the old tag title designs. The world tag titles on Raw as well looked fucking fantastic. The pennies looked like shit when they introduced them. The nickels look like shit now, or the dimes, whatever you want to call them. Maybe a quarter even, if you, if, if you so please. But, like, you know what I mean? They just don't look that great. At least in my opinion. Uh, these, these titles that were uh, in the Ruthless Aggression era look fucking fantastic. Oh, we're gonna have to watch all of Undertaker's entrance, unfortunately, but it is a pay-per-view, so it is what it is. Also, we get an elongated view, um, elongated duration of watching the stage, which is, once again, I love so much. Um, I don't know what got them to bring about that theme, you know what I mean, for the Rumble, the whole Roman Coliseum thing. Uh, I th at least I think that's what it's based off of. If it's not, I'm gonna sound like a big idiot. Um... I don't know what made them choose that as the theme, but brother, I, it fucking slapped. I loved it. I loved it. It was great. I really like the, uh, the nameplate is awesome. I like how they had people who opened the doors for the entrances. Um, you know what I mean? Like, servants open the door for the entrances. I like how big the stage is, you know what I mean? Like, look at that. Two Titantrons on the side, plus the Titantron in the middle. All the columns and pillars and all that shit, baby. All the flags and shit. It looks so dope, man. I love this Royal Rumble stage. Um, and obviously, it's the Royal Rumble that Ray won, so it's, it's even better. Uh, it is even better. Unfortunately, he didn't main event that year, I don't think. I think they did... The Rumble, and then they did Cena, and then they did um, Kurt, and who did Kurt face at Rumble? Was it Undertaker? No, Undertaker came back, or Undertaker at the end of the uh, Mark Henry. Maybe was it Kurt and Mark Henry that ended off the show? Something like that. I don't think the Rumble ended off the show that year, which sucked. But uh, yeah, they had Edge and uh, and Cena on that show and Cena won the title back uh, a couple weeks after Edge won it by cashing in and the whole promo thing was John Cena calling him a transitional champion and he ended up being uh that ended up being true because Cena won and then Cena went on to defend against uh 2006 22 Triple H you know what I mean and uh obviously Edge went on to have that fucking incredible match with Mick 
with uh, that insane flaming flaming table spear spot. You know what I mean? That was ridiculous. Um, so yeah, Mania 22 is so good, man. Mania 22 is so fucking good. Holy, I feel like it's a bit of an underrated Mania. You know what I mean? In my opinion, it, it had a lot of good shit on there, brother. At least to me, once again. I think the, the Money in the Bank match was a bit lacking because they kind of had a lot of big people who weren't really ladder guys in there, but it is what it is, I guess. I walk for miles inside this pit of danger. A place where no one follows me. I walk alone. There you go. We got Big Dave, we got Big Dave, we got Big Dave. All these people talking out their heads. I never understood a damn thing that they said. I don't know, this is the next part, so I'm gonna drink some peace tea. Again, you know what I'm saying? Please sponsor me, fellas. I guess I'll have to chew them up and spit them out and I said I walk for miles inside this pit of danger I swallow down a thousand years of anger The weight of the world is falling on my shoulders No Ah oh, man, they cut it off at a bad part in um, 2008, but they cut it off even earlier here, which is annoying. But I mean, you still, you still got a good part of the song, and it's still a banging song, you know? Oh, look at that pyro coming out of nowhere. Hey, nothing you can say. Nothing's gonna change what you've done to me. Now it's time to shine. I'm gonna take what's mine. Take what's mine. Hey, nothing you can say. Nothing's gonna change what you've done to me. Now it's time to shine. I'm gonna take what's mine. You're gonna burn in my life. Burn na 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 all right, and we get to see his full uh, entrance as well, because we usually, uh, with the memeable entrances, just in the interest of time, since we're playing six matches every week, for the entrances, 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 you know, uh, usually cut them off at some point, uh, meme, meme a little bit and then cut it off, but uh, with the pay-per-views, brother, we watch all the entrances, baby, you know what it is. Take what's mine while you're burning inside my light. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. <clears throat> Look at those tag titles. They are up for grabs. They do indeed indubitably be up for grabs. And we will uh, we will see the continuation of the trend between Batista and Randall Keith that on their own they can't get it done for whatever reason, but when they team up, they get shit done. They both lost their singles matches against Kane and Undertaker, Batista against Kane and Randy against Undertaker respectively leading up to this, but when they join forces in a tag team match, I don't know what happens, but they get the job done. I'm really hoping I actually picked to play as them and I didn't fuck it up because i just watched all those goddamn entrances <laughs> okay good i'm playing Woo! <laughs> hell yeah brother hell yeah brother yeah stomp his ass stomp his ass i need to remember how to play this game since since i've recorded this last i've recorded a wwe 13 a ufc 4 and um a battleground so just just a bunch of different controls over and over and over again <laughs> so uh, i gotta get used to these ones again and then after this, I'm recording UFC more, so I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I get I get confused with the uh, with the uh, with the control sometimes, man. For the first like second or two, you know, you you're just uh, kind of discombobulated, and uh, 
you can't really tell what's going on, and then you get it, and then you get the hang of things, and then you get reversed, and then he's gonna go tag out, and nope. Okay, good, because I, uh, ooh, look at that, got it on him, and I'm pretty sure he didn't reverse, because I did the side knee into the stomach thing. There you go, that's not gonna beat him, though, so we're gonna have to bada-boom, bada-bing. There you go in there. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. No, 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 no. There you go. Don't fucking try and tag out of here, baby. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, no. Nice little hop there, Big Dave. Fuck your neck, brother. Fu oh, that, that's your throat, actually, technically. And get him with a good old German supla, baby. And we got that big old uh, finish right there, which we're going to... Uh, Ooh, there you go. We're gonna pick his ass up. We're gonna do this right here, which I'm pretty sure he did not reverse. And I think we're about to bury the tag team champions. Oh, you know what it is? Break it up, Undertaker. Thank you. I think I know what's going on. I think I had to change some champions um, in the exhibition mode so that the match graphics were proper. Um, because they changed in the GM mode, and I think I maybe put it to easy just so I could do it, like, quick. So I think that's what's going on, because they, they usually reverse more than this in the GM mode, because in the GM mode I'm on Legend, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know, that's kind of, that's kind of dookie doo-doo, brother. That's my mistake. Uh, I gotta change that, I guess, if that is the case. It might just be on normal, but I know it's not on Legend like, uh, the GM mode is. Just, uh, get uh, get Undertaker in here, bro. Get Undertaker in here. Come on, man. Come on, man. What to do? What to do? Yeah, get him out of here. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Oop. There we go. Nice uh, shoulder block. Nice shoulder block. Ooh. Two people uh, in the ring right now who had a WrestleMania match that was much better than it had any right being. And they got everybody thinking that uh, Batista was going to end the streak, brother. That match was so great, you know? Like, because at WrestleMania 22, you know, like, the streak had become a thing by that point, obviously. But n with all due respect to Mark Henry, you know what I mean? Because the Hall of Pain was great and, and the fake retirement on, uh, on, on Cena was great and stuff. Nobody, nobody thought Mark Henry was beating the streak. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but Batista is feasible because they put a lot of stock in Batista. You know what I mean? They pushed him to the moon the year prior. They gave him the title and all that. Oh, two years prior, sorry. They gave him the title and all that. So, uh, yeah. You know? And then the match was... was uh, um, booked uh, to to a way that you know you could actually I, I think I reversed that yep I reversed your German and I made you with a good old uh, baby brother German for German that's what we talking about that's what we talking about you going into the corner and I'm gonna hit you with his tag team maneuver and bada boom bada bing bada bing bada fuck you Nick Patrick I don't know why you're getting in the way like that Nick Patrick but uh, you are. So it is what it is. Nice little taunt from Randall right there. Fuck out of here. Ooh, big fucking running neck breaker. Come on, get your ass up, man. Get your ass up, dude. There you go. Nice little, uh, nice little, uh, clothesline there. Okay, he, uh, come on, man, what you doing? Oh, I thought I was that. What's going on? Okay. Oh, he did do it. I tried to reverse it, but I guess he got it off. I'm going to be in ropes here, so that's fine. I'm okay with that, because that's going to be a rope break, baby. That's going to be a rope break, baby. Let me run out of here. Ref, get one of them. Yeah, get him. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Okay, that's not... Why did it aggro to Kane when I missed fucking... Uh... There you go. When I missed Randall. I'm going to get your ass up, and I'm going to hit you with a big old RKO, brother. I'm going to do one of... I'm gonna do one of these, me. I'm gonna do one of these. Okay, well, I ruined. Oh, he's only orange, anyways. That wouldn't have worked. Fuck it. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Here we go. Boom. There you go. Brother, Kane, can you fucking. There you go. There you go. Pin him, pin him, pin him. Pin his ace. Pin his ace. 
There it is. And new tag team champions of the world. I had to move my uh, mic arm stand thingamabob. Um, hopefully that didn't get picked up. But uh, yeah, and new. I'm going to have to move it a little bit again, actually. Cool. Okay. There we go. Hopefully that also did not get picked up. But those titles got picked up by new holders. I'll tell you what. I will tell you what. Look at that, brother. And new. They got it done when they joined forces, baby. They got it done. <clears throat> hey, nothing you can say. Nothing's gonna change what you've done to me. Now it's time to shine. I'm gonna take what's mine. Take what's mine. Hey, nothing you can say. All right, so uh, that's the tag team match. I will uh, shoot you back over to the GM mode where we will continue the card with uh, the U.S. Championship match between Book and Benoit. So I will see you over there. All right, and welcome back to the GM mode. As you can see, we recently crowned new tag team champions in Batista and Randy Orton. I just want to do something real quick before I confirm the match card and get into the, into the gameplay on the GM mode. If I go in here and change somebody, uh, The Rock is here. Why the fuck is The Rock here? I checked the free agents list, he's not there, but he's a free agent for the Rumble. I don't know why he's here. I really don't. Is he going to fill in the number 30 spot for Raw? I don't know what's going on. Is he going to become a free agent afterwards? Did Raw sign him? I don't know what he's doing there. I really could not tell you. Uh, obviously, we're going to keep Batista in there because The Rock's not on our roster. But I just thought that that was kind of funny. Um, so, yeah, man. Uh, so we'll go ahead and confirm the match card here. We'll get into it. Uh, we gave Johnny Nitro that, uh, that vacant win there. And then we didn't fill up the other match because nobody cares. We'll start off with our U.S. Championship. Well, we already started off the pay-per-view with the tag titles, but now it is now time for the U.S. Championship match. So we'll uh, go into this one with match rules. We got that DQ off, but the give up is going to be on because we got a submission guy in Benoit in the match. And we are going to be playing this match as Chris Benoit. That worked out perfectly because it landed on him. Yes, sir. We're going to be playing this match as Chris Benoit. He's going to be hopefully retaining the title. Hopefully, uh, Book doesn't beat my ass because book is very overpowered um so in this game at least so uh yeah uh, we got benoit we got book uh hopefully we'll be able to retain this title successfully with chris benoit <coughs> all right man while we wait we're gonna drink some of this pc please sponsor me hell yeah brother hell yeah brother that's what i'm talking about that's what I'm talking about, brother. Let's go. Sucker. Can you dig it, sucker? We've got Book coming down to the ring, who was very outspoken on Friday on SmackDown, saying he is pretty much already the champion, claiming that this match is just a formality. But, uh, you know, unfortunately for him, the reigning defending champion, Chris Benoit, has other things planned, and he is going to be retaining this championship once again, unless Book beats my ass. Then we're going to have to do the whole, uh, the whole pretend I won, the kayfabe says I won meme which my series on GM mode have been known for, uh, for when I accidentally lose the matches and then I get mad and I'm like, fuck it, the kayfabe says I won. And uh, it's like I'm rage quitting uh, my my own <laughs> outcomes in this game. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, we got, uh, we got that going for us. We got the champion coming down to the ring right here. I said it in the tag match, but I love this stage so much, man. Look at that U.S. title. That should look beautiful, brother. That should look good, bro. That should look good. There's no holding me back. 
I'm not driven by fear, I'm just driven by anger and you're under attack. Just climbing up slowly, I'm the one and only, I'm... I'm worried for the Rumble match later on tonight. Um, because I don't know if I can choose my spot in the Rumble. So I don't know if I'm just gonna, whoever I'm playing as, I don't know if it's just gonna be a random chance or if when I pick my player, <coughs> excuse me, um, if it'll just, you know, <clears throat> fuck me over or something. I really don't know. Or if I get to choose. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But for now, we're gonna have to be defending this title, baby. Oh, that's not good. Come on, book. Oh, come on, book. Okay, that hurt, Book. Why are you doing that, Book? Dive at me, brother. Dive at me, bro. Can I get up? Why am I selling so hard? Brother, what the fuck? Come on, bro. Ooh, fuck you, bro. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, yeah, fuck you brother. Get the fuck in the ring. German supply, baby. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you, bro. Uh, you going this way, brother. Get the fuck out this ring, bro. Oh, that didn't work. At least I didn't hit my fucking uh, back on the <laughs> on the uh, um, announce table like Ben was done before. I remember Brian, uh, Daniel Bryan did that shit, and people like lost their minds. They were like, "Oh fuck, that's gotta hurt, brother. That's gotta hurt, brother. That's gotta... Oh no, 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 no! I don't like this book. I don't like this book. I, don't, I like this, kind of. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to double count out here. So I'm gonna get in and out of the ring, like I'm a heel, using uh, using the count to my advantage. <clears throat> Come on, bro. Get your ass up. Oh, he's going reverse, huh? You going reverse? Oh, no, no. Okay, good. He just threw me off. Come on, bro. Oh, fuck you, man. There you go. We going high risk, high reward, baby. <laughs> that kind of hit. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt. Get the fuck on the table, you jabron, brother. Oh, he's, he keeps uh, he keeps reversing my pickup attempt, and he doesn't want to put me through the table. <clears throat> he's going to accidentally put me through it right now, though, I guarantee you. He's going to do some shit that puts me through it, or he's just going to get back in the ring. Okay, well, give me your fucking leg then, brother. Give me your leg then, brother. Hey, man, how's it going? Can I interest you in a German soup, la, baby? Hello, sir, would you like to... Do you have a moment to talk about our lord and savior, the German, German suplex? Juman suplex, I accidentally said, which is very ironic. Um, <clears throat> my, uh, I think I'm losing cognitive function of my brain, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I think my brain's deteriorating, brother. Oh, man. <clears throat> Had to happen one day. It's just happening now. Oh, no, 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 no. Book, you, uh, I'm gonna put you through the table because you put me through the table on fucking SmackDown, brother. Fuck you, bruh. What goes around comes around, so you gonna get put through that table unless you keep reversing. See, look at that. All he's done is reverse me. He hasn't really done shit to me, um, and he's, he has me at yellow body. You see how overpowered this man is? I didn't want the roll up. And look at his fucking, uh, look at his, uh, look at his, uh, fucking momentum. It's almost full. But he hasn't done shit. I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna get him damaged. I'm gonna use the broken submission system to my advantage. There you go. And that didn't even that didn't even put him from yellow to orange. But when people do it to me, oh brother, I go from nothing to red immediately. Immediately. Oh no 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 no. There you go. There you go. There you go. Get you with a good old back supla, baby. Get your ass up, brother. All right. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, man. Get the fuck out here. You're going through this table, bro. You're going through this table, brother. Oh, oh yeah. You look at you. You're taking advantage of me being uh, in, in, incoherent. There you go. I'm just going to go behind and do it like this instead. German Supla, baby. You got put through the table, sucker. Let's go. No, actually, get get in the ring though is what I'm, get in the ring book is what I'm trying to. 
Whatever, man, you'll find your way. You'll find your way into the ring. Actually, I can do a fucking barrier thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. I, I just got in and out, so that's gonna reset, right? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna do this over here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do uh, one of those right there. One of those memes right there. One of those right there. Alright. Come on, man. Get your ass in here, man. Come on, bro. What you got? You ain't got shit. Oh, okay. No, he got shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Why do you want me out of the ring, bro? What? You trying to, you trying to bullshit a count out win? You know count out doesn't win you the title, right? Right, book? Are you aware of that? Ma'am? Ma'am? That's not a ma'am. That's a sir. That's going to be rope. But I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Oh, it's not rope because the game's like, hey, here's a free win. No, he's, he's, uh, come on. I can get there. Oh, I didn't get there. His head wasn't damaged enough. Ooh, come on, bro. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, nice roll up. Don't want to win like that, though. We got this right here. Get over here. Ooh, okay, he got me, he got me, he got me. But I got you, brother. I got you, bro. All right, let's see. Let's see if the game's going to save me again and, and give me away from rope or if it's going to give me... No, yeah, no, the game, so you can't get rope break on the, on the cross face, I guess, because it automatically just repositions you to the rope so they can grab it. It's like, hey, you're currently in the rope, but we're gonna forcefully shift you away from the rope so you lose. Have fun. That's incredible. Anyways, and still, um, n nothing, nothing too crazy with the booking, um, other than the, the table spot. I do want that to happen in the actual kayfabe. I want, uh, them to go outside and, and Benoit puts him through there. Maybe he's, maybe Benoit lines him up on the table and then does the diving headbutt from the, from the ring or something and puts him through something like that, you know what I mean? Uh, just to put him through the table like he did to him on SmackDown. Other than that, though, just just a clean finish. You know, nice back-and-forth match. Book gets close. Benoit gets close. Benoit gets, gets the upper hand and wins. You know what I mean? No shenanigans, no nothing. Just a clean down-the-middle match, brother. Those are the best ones, you know what I'm saying? Most of the time. And, uh, and still, look at that. Look how good he looks holding that title, baby. All right, man. All right, man. All right, man. I'm, I need to pee so goddamn bad <laughs> that I'm going to get up and pee and be right back. So hopefully I don't forget to cut this out. But if I did, um, please forgive me because I got I to gotta pee real bad. Otherwise, I'm going to pee all over my new chair. I just bought a new chair. It cost me a lot of goddamn money and I don't want to pee all over it. So I will be back. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm a moron. I will be back. All right, I'm back. Hopefully, hopefully I remembered to cut that out because that would have been a fucking weird lull. I've, I've forgotten to cut out little like breaks before. I think I checked my phone once and I forgot to check, uh, cut it out. Um, yeah, I don't know, bruh. I don't know, bruh. Don't worry about it. I'm back. <laughs> I could have just been like a normal person and just did like a incognito cut that like you didn't notice like I get back to this menu and then I just stop talking for a second and then go up go go up to pee and then come back but I mean you know I, I'm, I'm a moron so I, I I make things awkward all the time so anyways back into the fucking pay-per-view uh, we got our world heavyweight championship match uh, we're gonna get the match rules Give up is going to stay on because we got a submission guy in there. DQ is going to go off. And we're going to be playing this match. And we're going to be playing this match as... Can I get it between all three? Or all two, I guess. But, like... Uh, it was happening last time. Oh, there it is. Not Gregory Holmes, unfortunately. We are playing as Kurt Angle. He will be retaining his World Heavyweight Championship. Not for lack of trying. Uh, but... Uh, Oh, my headset's fucked up. I just, I need to buy a new headset, I think. Shit always, it cuts out all the time. Fuck me. That's not good. Those cost money. Oh, well. Anyways, that's not pertinent to this video. <laughs> um, yeah, we got Kurt Angle here. We're going to be retaining his championship. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier or if I mentioned it in uh, last week's episode, but 
Eddie and Shelton are both banned from ringside for this match. So it's just Eddie, or sorry, it's just Kurt and just Helms for the World Heavyweight Championship. So we got Kurt, we got Gregory Helms. I hope Helms comes out with his title. I know he won't. But maybe the game will be, like, stupid and be like, Yo, title match! Get the other champion in there, brother! Get his title in there! I don't know why I'm doing that voice for the game's code, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, brother, whatever. Let's, uh, let's go defend this championship with Kurt Angle. While we wait for this to load, please sponsor me, Peace D! Hell yeah, brother. Unfortunately for the gameplay... This is going to be an easy as fuck match. Because Gregory Helms doesn't stand a chance against me. I'm a 95 to his 82, and I'm a heavyweight, he's a cruiserweight. You know what I mean? So, realistically, I'm going to beat his ass in the gameplay. However, in the kayfabe, it is a much different story. In the kayfabe, Gregory Helms is going to push Kurt Angle to his absolute limit. There's going to be uh, a few near falls that hopefully will would trick the crowd. And the thinking Gregory Helms had done it off a of Shining Wizard, off a of Vertebraker, doesn't really matter. Um, where Kurt Angle kicks out at like two and like a million millions, or like 999,000 millions, or something like that. You know, just the most minute um, fraction of a second off of a three count uh, with Kurt Angle kicking out of him and stuff like that. So this match is gonna be one of those that puts somebody over in defeat. We've been putting him over in victory in recent weeks, besides last week, but he got screwed over, so it's not really a victory in in the eyes of, of you know, the people watching, or they're like, okay, he didn't really lose, he got screwed over, you know what I mean? So, um, but we've been putting him over in victory in recent weeks, and we're going to put him over in defeat tonight. I just, uh, I really wanted to do something big with Helms, because I'm a big fan of Helms, and I thought he was underutilized. But I also am really enjoying uh, Kurt Angle as world champion, so I want to keep him as world champion, so... But yeah, we got uh, we got Gregory Helms. Hopefully, uh, we have elevated him in the eyes of the fans. You suck. You suck. Um, so yeah, we, uh, we got that. Also, I would like to say that uh, after the finish, the finish is just going to be an angle slam. I'm not going to have uh, Helms tap out. We'll have, we'll probably, we would probably have a near, near, you know, a false finish where it looks like Helms is about to tap out, but he gets to the ropes or something like that. Or does that thing where he like curls up, turns around, and kicks him off? Uh, one of the two. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have it after an angle slam. We're not gonna have it after one angle slam though. It's gonna take two or three to put uh, Helms away because he has this big opportunity and he's not gonna let it go uh, away quickly. Like I'm thinking, like I want like a 30 minute fucking classic between these two. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's uh, that's what's in store for uh, for for the match after the match. After Kurt Angle wins, gets his hand raised, gets his title, whatever, he raises his title. Um, he, would, uh, he would extend his hand to Helms, shake his hand, and then leave the ring to Helms to get a standing ovation. So the, 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 the goal of this feud was to not only elevate Helms, give him a big, big role, and, and make him a main event guy. Um, it was to also turn him face. Uh, so the crowd hopefully would give him a standing ovation, big belly to belly. Uh, so yeah, the, the goal of this would be to turn him face. Obviously, I had to turn him face before the feud started in the game to, to have the feud even be allowed to be started in, in the rivalries menu. But this match, at the beginning of this feud, he would have been uh, a heel, you know, obviously, because I booked him as a heel all, all, all series. But then uh, this feud would turn him face, hopefully. German soup la baby, and that will uh, tie forward into what he's doing for the rest of the series. Because I, I have his, uh, I have his arc. Like, I've, I've had Gregory Helms's arc planned out. German soup la baby, uh, since SummerSlam or earlier. 
I knew what he was going to do at SummerSlam. I knew what he'd be doing in No Mercy, and I knew what he'd be doing at Survivor Series. I knew what he'd be doing at Armageddon, Rumble, uh, No Way Out, and Mania. Ever since, uh, like, while I was booking SummerSlam, I pretty much booked uh, Gregory Helms' whole shit. Or while I was booking No Mercy, one of them. Um, I knew I, I figured out his whole shit and what I wanted to do with him. So, yeah. Um, oh, that's a good reversal. Okay. I, um, so I, I, I was thinking of making a Patreon recently, and if I do, I would, uh, I would, one of the perks for the Patreon, uh, that I was thinking to include, I think somebody suggested it when I did, uh, that community post about it, um, uh, would be to make videos for Patreon subscribers explaining how I booked shit and how I made decisions for the GM mode. Uh, so... Yeah, um, I, I made a community post about it, but I, I mean, not many people know that the community post exists. Uh, community tab exists. So, hopefully, if you're this far in the video, still, you know, a lot of people don't watch the whole videos because YouTube is, yeah, uh, based on the analytics of YouTube videos and viewer attention. But um, if you if you have made it this far in the video uh, and you would be interested in stuff like that for a Patreon, let me know, please, because. Uh, I don't want to make a Patreon if nobody, you know, would care. Uh, but if somebody, if you, if, you, if you guys would consider doing that, then I might, then I may make one. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I need some more pasty, brother. <clears throat> My throat. Hell yeah! If they could sponsor me, that'd be great. <clears throat> Healing the body, the mind, and, and hopefully. My enormous uh, student debt, if they could uh, fucking hit me up with that sponsorship, baby, I'd appreciate it. Um, yeah. Get him with a good old German soup, la baby. So, yes, sir. If, if you guys would like, uh, if you guys would be interested in Patreon and having um, stuff like that on the Patreon, like behind the scenes stuff of how I book shit, how I came to certain decisions, um, and, and stuff like that. Oh, he tried to do the vertebraker, but it didn't let him. Oh no, 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 no! Oh shit, yeah, you, fuck, I forgot. I have to go behind for the, for the... Ooh, that's not the one I want. Get your ass up. That's also not the one I want. Get your ass up. I think it's this one. And this is gonna be the end of the match. Once again, uh, like I said, I, I would want a 30 minute classic. Uh, Kurt Angle almost getting pinned, like I said, by the most minute. Uh, fractions of a second, kicking out and stuff like that. Uh, really put Helms over in defeat here. Hopefully, like, the feud has put him over. Um, but, uh, yeah, Kurt Angle does end up retaining. And like I said, uh, after he celebrates with the championship, he extends his hand, shakes uh, Gregory Helms' hand, gives him, like, a little nod of the head, like, all right, you earn my, my respect, but... Uh, excuse me, I'm fighting a burp. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, shakes his hand, gives him a little nod of respect, like, yeah, all right, but you earned my respect tonight. You got it. Um, and then leaves him the ring for a standing, uh, a standing ovation or applause by the crowd, hopefully. You know what I mean? Obviously, I get the um, benefit of this being a video game, so what I say goes. Uh, if I was booking this in real life, the intention, like I said, would be to turn him face with the feud. You never know how the crowd's going to react to shit though right so maybe, maybe they would boo him after maybe they wouldn't have liked me pushing Gregory Helms to the world title um I would hope that people would because he's he's definitely capable of being in that spot um despite being a cruiserweight but uh yeah like I said since it's a video game and since it's a YouTube series what I say goes so he is a face and everybody applauded okay uh but yeah like the the, the intention is to put him over um, and, and turn him face there. So, yeah, let's take a look at what Raw did on their show. So, Ric Flair beat Mickey James with Lita as special ref. I'd assume they have a Mickey and Lita rivalry or something. Um, and then Shawn Michaels wins the Intercontinental Championship against Triple H in a hardcore match. Okay, uh, I'm gonna assume that that's just gonna get a five star. I'm gonna hope that our world title match got a four and a half five um i'm gonna really really fucking hope and assume that this match got a five because it's been like a a two thumb up rivalry for the u.s championship both guys are popular as fuck so hopefully that's a four and a half or five and then hopefully this is a four and a half or five and this main event is going to be a five i'd assume because it's the rumble now we are gonna match rules it doesn't really matter right 
Uh, I can turn entrance off. I don't want to do that. We're going to be playing this match. Uh, I'm going to pick this one for the meme. I just pick one guy. Okay. Well, we are going to be playing as... What's going on? Oh, I was looking for Eddie, but but in the game, Eddie has the um, the legend. He's not part of the SmackDown roster. He's part of the legend roster. So I was looking for the legend background. And I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Where's Eddie? What the fuck? Does it not let me play as Eddie? Uh, but we are going to be playing as Eddie. Let's see. 30-man Royal Rumble. Did they, like, throw Rock in here? Or? Okay, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, no, they just have 14 people. So we have um, we have a 29-man rumble. We are going to be playing as Eddie. We don't get to pick our fucking entrance. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's drink some PC and hope for the best. Please sponsor me. A very important note about the Royal Rumble. Okay, it's not us. Whew. Hopefully it's like 2008, um, when you can, uh, pick somebody else after you get eliminated. Because if I get an early, uh, early, um, placement, I'm, I'm probably gonna get eliminated. Um, especially with the way the eliminations work in these games, it's just a button mash contest. If two people come against you, you're done. And if, if you literally, if you survive one elimination attempt, you're not surviving another one. Driven by fear, I'm just driven by anger, and you're under attack. Just climbing up slowly, I'm the one and only. I'm um, very important thing for the rumble. Mr. Kennedy would have convinced Umaga to swap rumble positions with him. So Mr. Kennedy, although he on paper is the number one entrant, Umaga... Okay, it's Kane. Umaga is the real number one entrant in the rumble because he swapped numbers with Kennedy, so Kennedy is coming out at 30. In the kayfabe, Eddie is number two. So in the kayfabe, this would be us right now. Thank God they didn't fucking... It didn't happen in the game because it would have been a big pain in my fucking ass to do that. But, <laughs> um... Yeah, so in the kayfabe, Kennedy won the number one. He convinced Umaga, he said, listen, okay, you're a big fucking dude, you can kill anybody in there. You go in there, number one, I'll come in at the end to help you clean up, and then we can, it's, it's you and me. And the better one of us can just get the world title shot, you know what I mean? And then when one of us wins, we'll give the other one the shot, you know what I mean? So he, he convinces Umaga to give up his number 30, Mr. Kennedy is now number 30, Umaga is number one. And uh, Eddie Guerrero happens to draw number two. Um, so we have two SmackDown boys starting it off. Just like we do in the gameplay. Just two different people. So, yeah. Um, other than that, uh, I don't really care about entrance positions of other people other than those three. I do want one specific elimination to be made. I want Johnny Nitro to eliminate Chris Benoit. Johnny Nitro will be eliminating Chris Benoit. Um, other than that, eliminations aren't, aren't too, you know, important. Um, you, you could have, like, uh, you could have Batista and, and Randy. Oh, no. You could have Batista and Randy double up on, like, Undertaker or Kane or something to eliminate them. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to fight. If I don't have to fight, I'm not fighting. Benoit. 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 Hey. I'm not fighting if I don't have to, brother. Leave me alone, you son of a bitch. Man, I'm telling you, I don't want this. I didn't want to be number three. Me, Ooh, it's Edge. I think he's their world champion. Hey, Edge. Oh, no, I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. Ooh, ooh. All right. Ooh, fuck you. Oh, God. I'm, I'm, I'm not surviving. I'm not surviving. Oh, I'm not going to get the main event of Mania. Okay, what I'm going to do... I'm not going to lie to you, fellas. What I'm going to do is if I don't win and, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, JBL. Yeah, get Kane out of there. Get Kane out of there. Get Kane out of there. Can, can I join? No, they added that in no way. All right. All right, JBL. Yo, let's run back our feud, brother, but let's, let's not cut Eddie's rumble reign so short, you know? Oh, let's get Benoit out of here. 
Yeah, let's get Benoit out of here. Get Benoit out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to be doubling up as much as possible. No, JBL, you fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. Don't look at me. Don't fucking look at me, brother. Don't look at me. Yeah, double team. Yeah, double team. Yeah, the pussy. Uh, get away. Look, I know I traded you away for Ray, but I really didn't want you on my roster to begin with. Ooh, there you go. Come on, bro. Hi, please. Leave me alone. Ooh, yeah, double team. Double team. All right, never mind. Do this to Cena. Ooh. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, it's Nitro. It's Nitro, baby. It's Nitro. It's Nitro. Hey! Fuck me. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm fucking shitting bricks. Yeah, you got it. You guys run back your shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny Nitro, don't fucking, don't you, don't you try shit, bro. Oh, that's a fucking pile driver. That's a pile driver. Let's get you with a good old uh, German supply, baby. Stomp your ass. Stomp your ass. Lashley. 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 Lashley, I'm, I'm, yeah, you guys, you guys run your shit back. So many feuds, huh, in this ring have been done before. Please, 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 please. Lashley, help me. Lashley, help me. Lashley, help me. Get this guy out of here. Get this guy out of here. Now let me run away. Okay. No, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm fucking shitting bricks, brother, because I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can select somebody else. Because in, in 2008, when I lost as, uh, when I lost as MVP... You know, I, I could just switch and I ended up winning with Ray. Ooh, that's book. That's book. Pretty uh, pretty raw heavy ring right now, actually. Oh, no, it's not. It's just evenly split. Never mind. All right. All right, Cena's out. You guys fight it out. You guys fight it out. Don't look at me, Edge. Edge, don't you fucking dare look at me. Don't you dare look at me, Edge. Don't you fucking look at me. All right. Uh, Lashley, you better fuck off. I'm I'm sorry if you wanted me to actually wrestle this whole match, but I'm too much of a bitch to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, has anybody had an elimination attempt on them yet? That's the question. Well, oh shit. Oh, there you go. Hey. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him, Lashley. Get him, Lashley. Lashley. Oh shit. Ooh. Nobody look at me. Nobody look at me. I'm not in here. Oh, hold on. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. 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 Get Ric Flair out of here. Get that old man out of here. Get that old man out of here. Get you the fuck out of here, too, you son of a bitch. You piece of shit. Lashley, don't even fucking look at me. Don't even look at me. Um, oh, we could have Eddie eliminate Shelton, too, since Shelton um, is a... Uh, Kurt Angle crony, and obviously, since I'm winning, you know, <laughs> you know what we doing, brother. That's not a good idea in a rumble match. There you go. Don't you fucking. Oh yeah, yeah, double team. Yeah, double team. Oh yeah, double team. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Chris Masters. I didn't mean to do that, but I mean this is. I meant to store it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I definitely meant to store it. Um, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, oh, fuck me. I am uh, shitting bricks, brother. I'm, I'm trying to fucking stay as far away as possible. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, uh, come on, bro. Yeah, stay away from me. I'm in the corner. You fucking asshole, Shelton. Don't fucking get near me. I'm in this corner now. Don't even fucking... Oh, uh, don't try it. <laughs> don't fucking try it, brother. Oh, shit, T-Bone. Yeah, pin him, bro. That works in the rumble. Oh, fuck me. Nitro's beat up, Lashley's beat up, Book's beat up a bit. <laughs> Please. There you go, fuck you. Shelton, don't even fucking play. Oi. Oi, vey. Uh, stop. No, 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 no. Please. Please. Please, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. No, 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 no. I reversed, I reversed. I... Oh, please, I'm scared, bro. Oh, hold on. Oh, shit, never mind. I was gonna go help Chris Masters. Uh, let's get you with a good old uh, German Supla Lashley. Uh, please, fuck, leave me alone. I hate when there's six people in here. Because, oh, uh, uh, shit. Uh, when there's six people in there, that means there's a, a specific person designated to beat my ass. And I don't like that. I don't want that. That ain't my shit, brother. That ain't my shit. Let's get you with a good old German Supla, baby. 
Oh, there you go. Let's get you with one of these. Let me store this. Uh, let's uh, let's just try and get you out of here, bro. Let's oh, uh, please. Ooh. Oh my God. Masters is staying in. Shelton might be on his way out. Yep. Shelton's. Oh shit. Okay. 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 Uh, please leave me alone. Oh, Shelton stayed in. Oh shit. Oh, why did I do that? Why? Why? Did I get like? Oh, uh, I don't want to be in the ropes though. That's the. Uh, that's the thing. Get out of here, brother. It's your Miss Supla, baby. Ooh, okay. Hi. Get you with a good old It's your Miss Supla, baby. That's my whole tactic. Run around. <laughs> pretend like I'm not here. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. There you go, brother. There you go. There you go, Chris Masters. You got him. You got him. Don't fucking pick him up and come after me. What the fuck's the matter with you? The fuck you think this is, brother? This ain't this, uh, this ain't no fucking German soup, la baby. This ain't no fucking pick on Eddie Guerrero day. Get the fuck out of here. Leave me the fuck alone. Get the fuck out of my way, book. You fuck off. Don't you fucking dare, Shelton. We got Randy in here. I'm gonna go over this corner now. Uh, fuck. No, Randy, don't do it. Don't do it. There you go. Oh, German soup, la baby, by Randy. Hi. <laughs> When anybody kind of like goes my way a little bit, I'm fucking shitting bricks, brother. Nitro and Book are like an Irish whip away. So I'm gonna just do this. Uh, and then I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, fuck. Leave me alone, Chris. Masters. Nice, uh, nice little wrestling uh, takedown right there. Yeah, get Randy out of here. Oh, fuck. Fuck, no, 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 leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, where am I? Oh, I'm not on camera. Oh, it's McFoley, he might be their champion. I don't know who their fucking champion is. Just hit him off, bro. Don't, don't you dare, don't you, uh, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't look at me. Don't fucking look at me, don't think about looking at me. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 please. Chris Masters, Chris Masters, Chris Masters. I'm asking you to politely fuck off. German soup, la baby. Why did Shelton's fucking like a spring chicken, brother? I'm getting Shelton out of here, bro. Oh no no no. Okay, hold on. I'm surviving, man. I'm doing I'm doing kind of all right. Shelton really loves doing his his fucking T-bone in here, but like it don't. Oh no 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 no. I fuck me. Okay, Chris Masters is almost red. Let me let me do some damage. Entry number fifteen. We're halfway. We are halfway. Ooh, fuck. Can I can I survive another another match of uh, another half of this? Oh fuck. Ooh fuck. No 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 no. See, this is my guy right here. This is my. Oh no no no. Chris Masters, don't do this. Chris Masters, don't do this. Chris Masters, don't. Hey, fuck me. Oh, I'm having a heart attack, brother. Big Dave, fuck you. Shelton, don't touch me. Fuck. My goddamn fucking shit, brother. Oy vey. Uh, let me just get you with a good old uh, German soup, la baby. Shelton, how about that? Oh, Chris Masters, you want some? You fucking broke ass, beat up ass, red health ass, bitch. Ooh, DDT. Uh, leave me alone. There we go. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Let's do some. Uh, let's do some work on uh, Chris Masters. This keeps me away from people. So that's cool. All right, Chris Masters, get up, man. I know you wanna. I know you wanna get up, man. I, I just need you to get up, man. Please. No, don't do this. Don't do this to me, Chris Masters. Oh, okay, he hit somebody else, or attempted to at least. Another German supla bebe on the Shelton. Oh, yeah. I'm running a marathon right here, bro. <laughs> Fuck me. Yo, y'all, y'all trying to double team? Fuck it, I. I think Shelton's almost done, to be honest. Ooh, there you go. Um. Okay, Batista got right back in. Get the fuck out of here, Shelton Benjamin. Oh no, 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 not like this, not like this, not like this, not like this. Why am I selling that god so fucking long, brother? Fucking shit, baby. My goodness. I should have put the the brainbuster back on uh, Eddie. That would have been helpful in this match. Okay, mix out. Oh, that was fucking... That ring was full for a little bit, huh? <clears throat> RVD's in here. 
To be honest, as, even if I get to the end and I don't really win with Eddie, and then a SmackDown guy wins, I'll take that. But, uh... Get over here. Get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out. Hey. No, don't touch me, Big Dave! I was far enough away. That, oh my god, he's got me at yellow already. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, uh, Big Dave, you fucking meathead fuck. That's Undertaker, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, fuck me. Alright, yo. You're getting out of here. Peace. Hasta la vista, baby. Fuck you. Don't touch me. Don't look at me. Don't think about touching me. I'm gonna do this to Big Dave and he's gonna reverse it. I just wanted to buy some time. <laughs> for the next entrance so it wasn't an even number. Ooh, there you go. That's Kali. Oh no. Somebody else beat up Kali. That's not good. Fuck me, brother. I don't want... No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. No, no. This is, this is where I go out. Batista's gonna get me here. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hey, leave me alone. Oh my god, it's me and three big dudes. No, I don't like this. <laughs> fuck me, brother. I'm shitting bricks. I'm shitting bricks, brother. Alright, Batista, you're getting you're getting a lasso from El Paso, bro. No, you're getting an ankle off, sorry. I'm a, I'm a holding it. Oh, we got Chavito Heat. Yes, Los Guerreros, the final two. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, I think I think I was gonna say something earlier and I I got distracted. Um, if I don't win, and a SmackDown guy doesn't win, I'll finish off the episode and then play this again on like easy, um, off camera. I won't save it. I'll just play it again on easy off camera and then give SmackDown the win because in the kayfabe, SmackDown gets the win. So we're getting no. Oh, don't do this, Chavo. Chavo. Oh, you can't lift me. Oh, you can't lift me. Fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Oh, you fucking... Ooh, you being a cruiserweight despite being my size and me being a heavyweight really saved my fucking ass right there. Not for... Okay. Okay, Undertaker. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I'll just go fuck myself. What's, what's going on? Oh, no, 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 no. Not Kali. Not Kali. I don't want Kali. I don't want Kali. I don't want Kali. This <sighs> fucking... You want uh, you want some of this super crazy? I'm not I'm not fucking I'm not scared of you. I'm scared of Kali. Kali better not come over here. But you, I don't really give a fuck. Super crazy. You think I give a shit about you, super crazy? You think I give a shit? You're not supposed to win this match. He's gonna go win this match, isn't he? Watch. He's gonna win this match now that I I explicitly said I don't want him to. Oh no, not like this. Oh, no, Kali, don't do this. Kali, don't do this. Kali, Kali. No, please, I survived. I survived. I survived. No. I can. Oh, baby. How do I change? There we go. I can. I can pick somebody else. Oh, my God. Fuck. Whew. We're going to be Umaga. Uh, back button. Okay. All right. We're going to be Umaga. We're going to be Umaga. German soup, la, baby. Get Kali out of there. Thank fuck. That saves my ass. Um, and this is fitting too because uh, Eddie and Umaga are actually not only the first two, they're going to be the last two uh, because Kennedy is going to get eliminated immediately upon entering. Or not immediately, but he's not going to last long. Like, he's going to get in the ring. He's going to, like, Umaga's going to set some people up for him to beat. Then when Umaga goes to do his own thing, he's going to be on his own, and then he's uh, going to get kind of flustered, and then bada boom, bada bing, um, maybe Eddie eliminates him or something like that, you know what I mean? I want Eddie to look strong, I want Eddie to get a lot of elimination, so if Eddie eliminates, um, you know, if Eddie eliminates uh, Super Crazy, uh, not Super Crazy, or maybe Super Crazy, it doesn't really matter who eliminates Super Crazy, um, you know, eliminates... Um, Shelton, Mr. Kennedy, he's going to eliminate Umaga because they're the last two, obviously. But, uh, yeah, so Umaga's going to last the whole thing. Kennedy's going to get eliminated fairly quickly, even after switching uh, first to 30th with uh, with his, uh, uh, com uh, not compatriot, that's not the right thing, uh, tag team partner. All the big guys coming in at the end, huh? You couldn't have uh, gotten them out of the way real quick, so I didn't... Uh Hey, Batista. Hey, Batista. Hey, uh, uh, Kennedy, excuse me. Please, somebody help me. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Kennedy, you son of a bitch. Kennedy, we are a fucking tag team. You wanted your own elimination? Instead of fucking helping me eliminate fucking big fucking... He's not bald in this game, but he's big. Ooh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. 
Get the fuck out of here. There you go. There you go. Woo, boom. Ooh, Hardcore Holly, brother. Gotta love Hardcore Holly. Get the fuck out of here, you son of a bitch. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Woo! There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, Kennedy didn't last. Just like the kayfabe. Cool. Um, the kayfabe was wrong about Eddie, mainly because I'm playing as him in the game. Uh, the, the, the game... This game isn't really set up to do well in a rumble from, from start to finish. You know what I mean? It's because, like, the, the elimination tactics aren't based on um, any, like, skill level. It's just damage taken and, and uh, you know, elimination meter fulfilled are already empty. You know what I mean? I think I think you refill your elimination made meter from um, from eliminating people. But, like, I eliminated, like, four or five people and I did it before my, uh, my bar got, like, touched. So realistically, what they should have done was you start out with a base elimination bar, and then for every elimination, it grows. That gives you incentive to eliminate people, and uh, you know what I mean? Ooh, there you go, hardcore. We got the boogeyman right here. Don't worry, we'll get Baba Yaga after you. Don't worry about it. Okay, he didn't like that. He didn't like that because he reversed. Yo, it's Finley and uh, Finley and uh, Boogeyman, two uh, two of the biggest parts of uh, the, the Undertaker uh, Road to WrestleMania in SmackDown Two Thousand Nine. We're just meeting, we're just missing Santino. Fuck you. All right, so who who are the Raw guys in here? We need Holly out of here. Uh. Oh, okay. So Ray just got eliminated because he's a cruiserweight. That's helpful. Oh fuck! I hope I'm not the only SmackDown guy. There you go. We have some SmackDown people left, right? I fucking hope. I fucking hope, brother. Hopefully, it's not just fucking raw people left, because then I'm at a fucking huge disadvantage, bro. That's Sean, so he's raw. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Sean, help me. Sean, help me. Sean, help me. Oh, I just did it by myself. I don't need no help, brother. Get you with a good old legend, Supla, baby. Fuck you. Uh, I'm gonna get HBK with my finish just because he got right in immediately. So I just want to get him with as much damage uh, as possible right off the bat. Hey, no, 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 not like this. Get him with a good old legend, uh, Supla, baby. Triple H is also a raw guy, and he's the last guy. It's me and four raw guys. This did not work out well. So I gotta be careful here. Oh, fuck me. Okay, get Boogeyman out. Yo, somebody go help Sean. Somebody go help... Okay, or or low blow Sean. That works too. That works too, Triple H. That works too, baby. <laughs> Fucking it doesn't. But fuck it. Um, Sean, are you, are you looking at me? You looking at me for some reason, buddy? Because I'm a fucking double team yo ass with Triple H. If you looking at me. Whoop. Boom. Okay, Boogeyman's like not taking any damage. Maybe he truly is the Boogeyman. Let's get you with a good old... Uh, ooh, he reversed. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Get you with a maneuver. What a maneuver! Oh, oh. Yeah, get him. Yeah, Sean. There you go. Triple H is out of here. Let's get uh, big boy Finley the fuck out of here. Oh, he reversed. Okay. Okay, Finley. Oh, no, no, no. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, fuck. Ayo. Ayo, Shawn Michaels. Fuck your ass. A German soupla, baby. That was a German and a bulldog at the same time. It looked fucking horrific. It looked like a clusterfuck, baby. Oh, my goodness. Oh, fuck you, bro. No, no, no. Here, you're not surviving now. You're not surviving now. You're out of here, brother. Uh, don't fucking... Don't look at me. Get... Brother. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, 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 fuck me. Oh, fuck you too. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna back away. No, don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. You try and fuck me, I'll fuck you harder. You fucking son of a bitch. That's how that's how that's how shit works on my channel. You fuck me, I fuck you harder. Don't you fucking dare. Fucking get out of here. There you go. Oh, you know what? Oh, he didn't, uh, okay, what, whatever. Was it, okay, I thought, I thought that was gonna be, like, an elimination contempt. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, he's red, he's, he's out. He's out, Boogeyman, just get him. I, I, Boogeyman, Boogeyman, I'll let you get that elimination. I don't give a fuck. I will let you get that elimination. 
Boogeyman, don't you fuck, don't you try shit on me, Boogeyman, you son of a bitch. All right, uh, Sean, no, 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 Sean, you're hurt, so you're out of here. Oh, what? Yeah, there you go. Ooh, there you go. Here we go. Get you with a fucking spike. I need to get his body uh, red. Yo, how crazy is it that Boogeyman is a fucking Rumble finalist? <laughs> It'd be even crazier if he fucking eliminated me. Oh shit, that would suck, huh? Oh no no no. Okay. Get out of here, Boogeyman. Oh, fuck you. Get you. Oh no, not like this, man. No, he's not getting me though. He's not getting me. I'm pressing buttons really fast. I'm pressing buttons really fast. You're not getting me, baby. But I'm gonna get you with this fucking shit right here. Oh, he's red. I just need him to reverse one of these, and then I just need him to fuck off, and SmackDown wins the Rumble. Woo! Alright, we did what we had to do in 2008, first year. I don't know what we did with uh, winning Edge the Rumble. Uh, I don't know if we survived the whole match with Edge or what happened, but... Uh, oh, that was nerve-wracking. Um, so yeah, pretend this is Eddie. And... Uh, <laughs> Oh, that breaks immersion, but pretend this is Eddie, uh, and he beat Umaga, so at least the finalist, the real finalist, um, you know, is in there, I guess, I don't know. If I if I have the time, because I'm recording this kind of late before it needs to go out, I usually record it during the day, but it's almost midnight when I'm recording this, and I need to edit it and get it ready to go for tomorrow, when it's uploaded, or today for you, I guess, but... Um, if I have time, I'll go in, I'll play a Rumble in Exhibition as Eddie, win it, and overlay it. If not, then apologies, it's just Umaga. <laughs> but, uh, Eddie, once again, does win within the kayfabe. Just a quick rundown. Eddie eliminates, uh, Shelton, uh, Mr. Kennedy and Umaga. Mr. Kennedy, who had number one, switches number 30 with Umaga. Um, Umaga lasts the whole match until the end, getting eliminated by Eddie. Kennedy gets eliminated shortly after entering, and Johnny Nitro eliminates uh, uh, Chris Benoit. Other than that, um, I don't want to break the elimination record with Eddie, but may, like have Eddie get like seven or eight of them. You know what I mean? Have him up there. Uh, some Raw guys, some some SmackDown guys, all that shit. And uh, oh my God, that was fucking. Ooh, that was. Oh, I need some PC after that, I'll tell you what. Hell yeah, brother. Holy fuck. Whew. Oh my god. We won fans, right? No! <laughs> I'm, I'm, ooh, I'm losing my mind. Oh. <laughs> One of our guys won the rumble. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I had the match of the week. It doesn't make sense. I'm gonna go crazy. I'm, I'm gonna go crazy playing this shit. Oh my god. What the fuck? This only got three and a half. Are you on crack? This only got four? Are you on crack? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> it doesn't make sense, bruh. Oh my goods. What the fuck? That's so shit. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Oh my fucking lord, that doesn't make any goddamn fucking sense. I'm I'm fucking baffled. Umaga literally won the rumble and he's not number one. Or that might show up next week, actually, never mind. Uh oh no, that will show up next week because Helms just um just went up there. So he just lost the match. 
so I don't think that'll count. And Kurt just, yeah, no, that'll, that'll go into effect next week. So that power 25 is the same as we saw last, uh, last episode, I guess. Oh my fucking god, let's take a look at what that did on the roster. First of all, we're gonna have to change these to Batista and Randy. Because they're the new champions now. <clears throat> Chris Ben who is our US champion. Kurt Angle is the world champion. Rivalries. This was a two thumb up with a with like a 90 plus and an 85 or something. It was for a title. And it got three and a half. I fucking, I fucking hate everything, brother. I fucking hate everything, man. Okay, I want to see if Raw has The Rock or if he was just available for the Rumble as a meme. Like, I don't know what's going on. They don't have The Rock. So what the fuck? Is he in the free agency? Like, I don't fucking... I'm, I'm not... Like, where, what the fuck was that about then? Him being in fucking the fucking Rumble. Why didn't he just take the number 30 spot, brother? Jesus. Uh, current champions. All right, let's take a look at our popularities after that. All right. Kurt Angle, 98. Eddie, 93. Ben, 190. Undertaker, 89. Batista, 87. Uh... Oh, because he has a title. Yeah, 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 I switched the titles off because Undertaker was 92 because of the three boost of the title and, and Kane was 88 because of the title. Okay, Batista's 87 now because of the title. Helms drop popularity as a result of that loss. Okay, go suck a fucking fat chode. Uh, Booker T went down but didn't go down, so at least he stayed 85. Uh, Kane, 85, obviously. Kennedy stayed 85. At least they don't uh, deduct people for losing the Rumble. That, that's good. Uh, Umaga, 85. He... <clears throat> This man just won the Royal Rumble and he didn't get a fucking popularity boost. Are you fucking goddamn kidding me? No fucking way. No fucking way. This is ridiculous. Oh, the algorithms, brother. They fucking... The algorithms got it one hand on fucking Raw's ball sack and the other on the shaft, brother. They going all fucking... and They're going all in on Raw. What the fuck? They go on Raw on Raw. What the fuck? This is not okay. I'm getting screwed in the bad way. Okay? What the fuck? Randy84. <laughs> Did Randy not get a, a boost? Or was Randy81? Oh no, that's not good. Uh, Sheldon82. Okay, so these didn't change then for the most part. Um, so that's unfortunate. You would think that since it's a five-star match and it's the Rumble and so many people watch the Rumble That everybody should get a boost for the Rumble, especially the fucking winner. The winner should get like a plus five boost or something um, But it is what it is, I guess um, In terms of contracts, I was right. We just renewed them at the end of next week's episode. Oh My fucking god, I'm I'm upset. We're gonna go ahead and save we're gonna go ahead and save, and then we're gonna end off the episode. Um, so, I haven't booked next week's card yet. I have a random general idea of a couple things that I'm gonna do. I haven't put them on paper yet, though. Uh, we're gonna have a title match. 99% sure we're gonna have a title match. We're gonna have uh, the, the trade. I'm gonna do the trade off camera, so you don't know who it is um, until we do it. And, uh, I think those are the only things, actually, that come to mind. Um, we're gonna have, uh, Eddie Guerrero, um, call out, uh, Kurt Angle and immediately declare that he's using his one, his, uh, opportunity at the Rumble, uh, at Mania, sorry, that he won from winning the Rumble against Kurt. He's gonna make that, uh, known immediately, right away. Um, we are going to have... A number one contenders match for the World Heavyweight Championship. That's what we're going to do because we need a contender at No Way Out. And, um, yeah. Uh, other than that, I don't think I remember anything else I did. We obviously have to advance the tag team feud. I'll, I'll have to figure out how to do that. Um, I don't know if I'm just going to go simple and do, you know, mix it up with the singles or I'm going to try and do something else. I haven't really decided yet. But, yeah, that's it for this episode. I'm pissed off, so I want to stop. <laughs>
die because we shouldn't have lost the fucking pay-per-view. Umaga got fucked over from the popularity boost. I, I just stopped fucking, I'm up to my ears in fucking anger from this game. I thought it was done in 2008, you know, 2008 was really broken and I thought 2007, it's okay. You know, we were winning, we won the SummerSlam, we won, we won Survivor Series in terms of big four pay-per-views, you know, we won fans from those. And then comes along the Rumble and the game's like, oh yeah, it's Mania season, so uh, yeah, you can't be re beating Raw. Raw's the flagship, brother. Go suck a dick. That's what the game told me, so... Ah, fuck me. Anyways, that'll be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If this is the first video you're watching from this series, you can check out a link to the playlist at the end cards at the end of the video, as well as a link to my WWE 13 Attitude Era mode. Uh, I'm also doing a 2K Battlegrounds and a UFC 4 Career mode if you want to go check those out. Follow me on Twitter, link in the description. Please sponsor me, Peace T. Uh, be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an episode because YouTube likes to zuck your boy and not put my videos in your sub boxes. So by pressing that nice old bell icon, you'll get a push notification anytime time I do upload and you'll never have to miss it and uh yeah if you have any suggestions for the series leave them down in the comments if I like them I'll incorporate them and give you some credit and uh yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please do like subscribe share all your friends comment down below all that good shit and I'll see you guys next time oh my I fucking hate this game Fuck me, that was shit, brother. I'm so pissed off. <clears throat> I should turn off the recording, huh? That would help. So I can fucking render.